nothing is prettier than the break of silence when you start hearing those first bugles. Nothing boils the blood. The excitement, I don't know how to really explain it, but every elk hunter out there knows the first bugle that they hear. It's the same feeling after every bugle after that. How'd this morning go? Like ass. <laughs> uh, we did locate some more bulls. We do know where a couple of decent shooter bulls are. My opening weekend bull that I should have shot. He's rounded up some cows, so he's big bodied bull. I'd be happy with him. Weak thirds, but I'd be happy with him. But of course, on an archer hunt, any six point that's over 320, you'd be happy with. So let's get her done. That's on top of our tracks. Last night, that's on top of our tracks. So they have to go in for water, so they should still be in. I 
It's not even 20. No, I didn't. It was in him when he took off that way. He was shot just right there. There goes another bull bugling. We found his arrow right here. We may have got lucky, but we're gonna have to go track this bad boy down now. We watched the video over and over and over again and each time I could see that it was just a solid thump. You could see where he kicked his shoulder up and it launched the broadhead upwards. So it was right into the shoulder, top of the scapula. We did quite a few more bugles. That bull was bugling. We tried to get on his tracks. We tried to catch up to him, but uh, he seemed to be a little bit more skeptic. Uh, he was a little more cautious. We'd get a little closer and he'd bugle, he'd bugle, then he'd bugle farther away. And there was no more blood. We weren't on blood anymore. I was confident that the shot wasn't going to cause any permanent damage or winter kill him from sickness or illness. We decided to back off of him, give him a little bit of time. But after us doing all our hikes and tracks and everything like that, you know, we just kind of figured out that he pushed his cows, he went somewhere to, because he, did, he no longer feels safe in that area. <coughs> well, we happened to come across a set of tines in the brush and I got all excited. I, I thought for sure it was him. I was. It's like, heck yeah, he's, he's down, I'm, I'm, we're good. And we ended up coming across a deadhead. And after doing a little bit of inspecting on it, everything like that, we found, you know, there was an arrow with the carcass. And Wes was kind enough to put it on his Instagram. Somebody reached out to him. Wes called me and said, this guy wants to talk to you about the deadhead. And this is how I met Mr. Troy Schill. Um, when I called him, he could get, he could tell me the length of his arrow, the brand of arrow he was using, the brand of broadhead he was using. Uh, he was adamant about this, this bull that he hit the last day, the last hour of last year's hunt. Casey got excited when he saw antlers. It's just deadhead. Oh my goodness, yeah. Somebody shot it. I got this bull on trail cam. Oh, crazy. That is gnarly. Dang it. 
it was a hard shot. It just didn't deploy. The blades didn't deploy to where it didn't cause enough damage for the bull to bleed out fast enough. He was able to go lay down and die. Uh, where he laid down and died was literally two miles from where they shot it. So he was able to file with the DNR. They've been up there three times before. I, me and Wes found his dead head and DNR with him searching. So he was able to recover his dead head with DNR. And in his appreciation to recover it, he asked if I needed help. So go ahead and introduce yourself there, buddy. Hey guys, Troy Shill here. Um, had the bull tag here last year, 2020. Uh, hit a nice bull and lost him. And Casey here uh, came across him. Uh, Wes actually posted it to this page. One of my buddies saw it and just couldn't even believe that, that they'd found my bull. Um, my arrow was sitting right there, pretty neat story. And so we hit, hit, hit up Wes and contacted Casey and they gave us directions. So now we're up here helping uh, Casey with his bull. Yeah, we're gonna get it done tonight because all you guys tonight. are here. That's right, <laughs> we brought the whole crew. Your brother. I'm Devin Schill. Yep. So here to help. Just I, two years ago, I killed a bull tried doing it again last year which we did and I guess we just couldn't could never track him down so hopefully we have people out there that like cleaning up sheds and <laughs> finding deadheads <laughs> <laughs> and then this is your dad yep I'm Doug Shill I'm I'm the old man of the two and and uh just here for fun so you're, you're just here to help support us that's huh that's right I'm just a support <laughs> here to pack out a couple bulls that's yeah, right and then, deadhead and a, and a live one tonight and then you got your your nephew? My nephew crew. Yeah, I'm crew. And yeah. his son. No. First really time hearing this. Never heard of you. Oh, you're going to have fun tonight. So because of these guys and because of Wes's social media and everything like that, these guys have been blessed enough to just say, hey, you want help? We're coming up. Let's do this. I've never met these guys. So this is what the hunting industry really is. This is what the hunting market really is. And this is what the real, the real experience is supposed to be. You meet new people. You get to know them. You get got great memories and you get to take home your memory that's right it's a neat, so neat story for all of us but even for me to have some closure on my bull didn't know if he lived you know through if i had a bad shot or what happened but uh, it's a neat story to, to know that we finally got him and heck yeah put him back on the wall Yep. Yeah, no. The the beautiful thing is is he'll look good as a year old mouth that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's still got some good color yep Hey guys, Troy Schill here again. So grateful that I had the opportunity to meet Wes and Casey on the mountain. Those guys are just complete studs. They they seriously hooked me up. When I, when I thought all was lost, they pulled through and came across my bull that uh, I had shot in 2020, never recovered it. These guys came across my dead head in 2021. It was exactly one year to the day that I shot him. Wes had posted on Rise and Shed, and uh, one of my buddies saw it and said, dude, that's your bull. So anyways, grateful again for these guys. Still an incredible story to me. I, it, I thought for sure I'd never see my bull again. Wes, Casey, you guys have never seen the finished product here. This is the, the finished product now. I went and got a, a Euro mount done on him, got his antlers touched up and darkened up. Turned out just sick. He's a six by seven, as you can see. Uh, he's got a broken pedicle on this one side and he started to grow a third antler. And Wes had told me when I talked to him on the phone, he said, dude, did you notice anything unique about him? And I was like, no, what, what's so unique? And he said, well, you're gonna find out when you see him. And I had no idea that he had a broken pedicle or uh, a third antler that started growing. So just super cool, so stoked to have him home. Uh, in my office and grateful for my wife Tiffany for uh, letting me hang it in the house so more importantly than this bowl we made some great friendships on the mountain actually me and my dad and my brother and my nephew when we found out about this ran up the mountain went and met Casey and uh, he was you know kind enough to let us tag along uh, some of us didn't don't have very much experience in elk hunting some of us never even you know, called or done a cow call or done a bugle call or never been right in the middle of bulls bugling or cows or anything else. So 
it was a pretty awesome experience. He was right in the middle of, of several bulls and we just thought, man, they've got to be 20 yards apart from each other because they're just, they're right there. They're right here, in the, right here in front of us. We just can't see them. We thought for sure Casey was going to get a shot that night. Uh, unfortunately, you know, he didn't have a shot. He didn't have an open lane. And so we pulled out that night um, as, you know, sometimes hunting goes. And what a cool experience for all of us to, to be a part of not only for you know coming across this deadhead that i'm so grateful to have back um, but to just be on the mountain and to create friendships and opportunities to hunt together to laugh together to do hard things together um, i just appreciate that opportunity casey you know a huge shout, shout out to you wes but, you know a huge shout out to you and rise and shed and all that you're doing appreciate just the opportunity to even know you guys uh, look forward to getting to know you better and i'm hoping that we're on the mountain together this next year and we can go do it again and and just have a blast and seal the deal thanks guys appreciate you